Have you ever posted a reel and it just didn't go well and you just wanted to die? <laughs> That's what this video is about. <laughs> all of the pain that comes with putting all this effort into creating a really good reel and then no one watches it. Um, by the end of this video, you'll see a really good way to figure out if your title is good for the algorithm for reels. And I'm directly talking about really small channels because that's where I'm currently at. But I think I figured something out that I'm gonna share with you guys. Yeah, we've all felt this, right? We post this reel, it gets 1700 views. And if you're a small channel like me, that's a lot. And you're like, wow, what did I do right? I got 64 likes, six comments, and it's really, really solid. And the next one you post is 600. And you're like, that's okay. We got 95.2% likes. And the next one's 154 views. And you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? And I found a simple system to fix this for you to where every single post that you do will get more views than it would have if you just kind of write out a title. And here's what you do. Number one, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to, when you're looking at your titles, I'll, I'll just look at some that I've got scheduled for today that I was just working, working with. And for example, why school by itself won't set you up. How I figured out this title, I, I, when I listened to the content, I thought, hey, what makes school worth it? And this was like my initial idea. So what I do is I grab that and I just go into YouTube and I search it just like this. But we search that bad boy. And if you want your reel to do well, you want to have, especially if you're a small channel and you don't have a ton of subscribers like I do with only 419 subscribers, you want to have the top videos come up with millions of views. And if you can see this one here, it says, why school is useless. Before you go to school, watch this, right? So there is a strong market for, you know, why the best universities aren't very good. There's a strong market for this type of content. So it means we're onto something with the video I just created. And so we have this reel where the student's talking about how school isn't about the education. as at, School isn't as much about the education as it is about your connections. And so many people agree with that and a lot of young people need to hear it. So, okay, we're gonna change this title. Instead, I put it something like, why school is useless. And we see what pops up. And based on these titles, school seems like a key word. School, 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 school. You get the point. <laughs> so school's everywhere. So we want to keep school in our title if we want to get searched for this content in the algorithm to possibly get recommended by YouTube to other viewers to scale our views, right? So now this is copying that one. So we want to be a little bit more original. So what you do is you just dink around with different ideas why school isn't helpful. So it's the same idea, different title, so you can stand out a little bit. If you look at that, the top videos are a bunch of reels and still in the millions. Okay, so after you know trial and error, what, what I came up with, why school it by itself won't set you up. It's very particular to my content in this video that is about a college student talking about how gap years are okay and going to college isn't about education, but it's about connections. So that's idea, you know, that is along the idea that school won't set you up, it's something else, it's something outside of school. So when you type that in after enough trial and error, 13 million views, 18 million views, 25 million views, this is gonna be a good reel. And even if I'm a small channel, it should get more views than my average viewed videos because it has school in it and it's along the lines in this mindset that a lot of people like to watch. So that's how you do it. So after that, you just will copy that into the top of your description for SEO. Let me put a dot, 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 you know, and, and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually put the description instead of something simple like taking a gap year to focus on internship is a huge decision. Take that out and put something a little bit more engaging, like, like this. So instead, put something like, School won't set you up for success. In fact, it's the decisions you make outside of school that will make you successful. Don't fall into the trap of complacency. If you want to get the most out of college, subscribe. 
So you're giving, a, you know, that is so much more engaging for someone who actually reads this. And then you're calling, you're, you're having a call to action. You're saying, hey, if you want to get the most out of college, this is for you. You need to subscribe to this channel for more content. All right. And in the description, you always want to put like your Discord. So you can come talk to me on Discord. For example, you want to be building a community where people can chat with you so you can get better ideas for your content because if people who already like your videos is recommending things to do in your next video, there's a lot of people who think similar to them who is likely your ideal person and that's where you want to get feedback. And the more you do that and you get feedback from your audience, the better your videos are going to start doing. At the very end, you want to put some hashtags that are about the similar mindset. So growth mindset, growth, this is all about growth in college. You got school in there, hashtag school is really important. In fact, you probably want to put school at the top because if someone were to search school, you know, this is what we want to pop up. And then we probably want to add college instead of people or relevance than people. Um, and then we probably want to put the rest of these seem actually pretty good. Success, self-knowledge, self-awareness, um, career is probably a better one than that. And just a little tip, if you have more than 15 hashtags on YouTube, they will not help you at all. So make sure you have less than 15. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's huge. Now, for something that you didn't expect, but that I'm going to put into this video really quick, is if you want to get more subscribers, you need to have an end screen. A lot of people don't do this. And if you want to get more watch time and more views, you need to have a video here that says best for viewers. So that way people can fall in love with the rest of your long form content. Because the point of a reel is to get more viewers so you can increase your watch time and always have your subscribe button there. That helps. When you have that, you get way more subscribers than you would think. Have a little card in here with a catchy title from one of your long form contents and you'll get more as well. So I usually direct them to the full podcast episode. Okay, there you go. Hopefully this helped. If you are someone who wants to grow with me from my small channel to a big channel to help others and you want to see these little tips that I'm learning every single day, I invite you to subscribe and check out the Knowledge Gap podcast episodes that are geared towards young people and mastering your purpose because what I want to do in life is help people and not work some crummy job where I hate my life. Um, I just want to make a difference. So hopefully this is one step towards that. Hopefully you like this.